What is up? This is your boy Anecdotal and today we're gonna go ahead and take Mineta who I just got to level 90 and of course we need to do his traditional cartwheel of running and then spinning around dance when you go ahead and rotate him. If you didn't already know you could get some hero coins for doing that achievement but first let's go ahead up his resonance. Now you can farm five a day. It looks like I still need about 50 more so it's gonna take me 10 days to get him to SSS plus make sure to stay tuned on the channel for when that actually happens and I'll take him into some content. But before that, we gotta see how much crystals could, could actually increase the BP of an individual character. So first, we're gonna go ahead and look at Mineta since I just got him to level 90. Now, before any of that, we need to know that you must unlock um, the crystals by increasing and maxing out the skills. So now you're going to see me max the skills out and for every skill that I max out, the crystal slots will open up so at first you're gonna see that um yeah we're gonna do we are gonna get some bp game for the skills as well so let's go ahead uh check out the tree not doing much there check out the chips not much there he's not he's not really a character i care to invest with or, or two so he's at 7651 right before that he was at 75846 right and that was because uh i just upped his skills so just his skill upgrade alone gave me about uh 200 200 bp now we're gonna go ahead and add the cores and look at that i'm at 70k for my all crystal score so i might have to factor that in but that's not gonna happen <laughs> 55 attack bro that's that's pretty cool all right so what i do know is that for the cores it does increase the skill like you'll see it says plus two so I'm going to put it on the skills that matter. If you don't already know, Mineta's only skill that matters is the Q. So that's the only one. And then the Q is like, that's all you need. Other than that, that third skill over there at the corner, which I think is uh, the E skill. It's it's like a quick attack that roots the, ener uh, the enemy. So it makes the Q easier to use. So I might as well up that as well. I don't really care to up ult for most characters. If I had Hawk, he'd probably be the only one that would do it like four but that's about it man looking over here for the offensive stats it looks like penetration might be the way to go uh for the most important characters i would always say attack and hp but mineta is not one of the most important characters so i will i don't mind going uh purely on penetration if i have it but really i'm just gonna fill it up with whatever i have i don't really care if it's green the only exception maybe will be i don't really care about uh crit resistance at all so that is not gonna matter to me period like I, I, it's only going to matter to lower someone else's crit rate on me. So, you know, who cares? I'd rather just up defense or something or decrease or HP, but I'd probably want to give HP to people that matter a little bit more. But yeah, if you want to build characters to a specific way, you could always look at their recommend, uh, recommended stats or cards. And from there, look at the kind of stats you might want to add to that character. That's why I'm looking at penetration for Mineta. But again, Mineta is not a top tier character. There is a lot of crit damage. My crit rate's already 35%. And my crit damage is at 214. I'm still wondering, is there a ceiling? Like, I wonder if the cap is, for crit rate, is like 50%. If it is, I kind of want to go as close as I can to it. And then, like, guarantee my crit. So that I could always do crit damage. And then I could start focusing on crit damage. But we'll see, man. We'll see. That, that's going to be later on. Because the thing is, the more stats we're going to get to play with the closer we can get to finding out what the upper limits of character stats are. And, you know, we're definitely getting closer here. I'm sure, like, ridiculously increasing crit, uh, crit, I mean, might be very helpful. But we just don't know that yet, you know? So safe bet is always going pure attack and pure HP. Unless you got some orange, you know, or purple things that are, that are crit, then, you know, you might as well go there, you know? Because right now, it's impossible to farm things that are purple or orange for crystals. We only got green and blue that are like 100% kind of things. So for right now, he's only going to get green things until everyone in my super co-op team gets something blue. Of course, the only blue that I am giving him are things that are exclusive to him, like his cores. So let's go ahead and just give him, I don't know, tenacity. Like I said, I don't really care about crit res. And look at that total BP continuously increase for my dude. So we are, we're really doing well, man. The BP is really going up. And bam, 
3,000. So like I said, every single character that you have at S, because of the slots and because you get a 100 score for every green that you have, you'll hit at least 3,000 since this guy is farmable. And I will, in 10 days, get him to SSS+. Plus. He's going to have even more slots. So I'm going to be like well over 3,000. Maybe like 3,600. <laughs> but yeah, well, well, well over. Actually, wait, actually more. Maybe like 4K. I didn't count how many slots I have in total. But yeah, at S, easily that many. Easily 3,000. Let's see, 16 plus 16 is 32, 38. So that means I'll have 3,800 if they were all green. But look at that, final product, 7,000. I mean, 77,275. And remember, before the skills, I was at like 75,800 or so. So after the skills, I think I was at 76,051. So there's a grand total of about 225 uh, BP gain just from the crystals. Wait, no, 1,225. Yeah, man. So a huge over 1K increase by simply using green crystals and two of them were blue so the bp gain you get is i would say significant and after this i think i'm going to take him into some more content the content that i'm really looking forward to taking him into is actually hero rating he's a useless character <laughs> kind of you know he's definitely a, a favorite character in the in the anime but i'm going to replace his cards put something good in there i mean i do have shiggy i do have these two active guards I don't have any of his EX cards, but I'm probably going to put Mustard on him. And then I'm going to take him into Hero Rating because, if you didn't already know, I've been doing some work on Hero Rating, man. And I am currently at 899 stars. And once I get 900, I can get the Repulsion Break, which gives me a huge attack bonus. And from what I see, he, is that the last buff? It is the last buff. I'm going to keep scrolling. But I think that's the last buff that you get from Hero Rating. That's the biggest, like, huge upgrade that you get to your bp based on hero rating yeah it looks like other than that those are just like the flat plus five attack and hp uh plus 30 hp and such so yeah 240 points of attack so this 900 attack you see it it's uh it's gonna go up man so it's gonna be pretty insane stay tuned to that i'm gonna try it tomorrow actually i'm gonna switch up his cards put him on hero rating <clears throat> and hopefully I can get one more star, but it would be nice to forget some Mineta right now. Huh? Huh? Lavuna? No, guess not. Well, this has been your boy, and I don't know if you like this video, man. Make sure to like and share with anybody from the MHA community, of course. Don't forget to make yourself known and comment down below.